How's it going guys? My name is Marco. Welcome to this new video. Thank you so much for the 10,000 subscribers. I'm really thankful for that. I started YouTube one year ago, a little bit more than one year ago, and now I'm reaching almost uh, 12,000 subscribers, so thank you for that. In a couple of weeks, I'll be in Los Angeles to start a new career and start my new journey. But in the meanwhile, I wanted to tell you like I did for the first 100 and for the first 1,000 subscribers, how did I get to that number? So I know that for some YouTubers, it's really easy to grow. For some others, it's really hard to grow. There are some people that, have, that are making YouTube videos for such a long time, but never reached the uh, 10,000 subscribers. And there are YouTubers that are making content for not even a year, and they are at more than 1 million. So. It's really a matter of fact of your creativity on how you treat YouTube and yeah, and how good you are. But I wanted to tell you my tips right now after one year, what should you do to have more subscribers and to hit the 10,000 subscribers uh, level like I did. So let me tell you my tips. The first tip is release content on scale. The more you produce the better it is not because of some algorithm things or because youtube yeah youtube gives a little bit more credit to the creators that create more because of, because of course when you create something then youtube puts ads on it and they will receive money as well but it's not just that is that the more you create the more possibilities you have to be discovered and to say something that you want to say. So don't don't just create content because you don't have nothing to do or just because you have to do it or you feel that you must do it. Create content when you know that you want to say something, when you have something to say, when you have something to create. So treat YouTube like an opportunity, not something that you have to do. And the more content you create, the better it is to say something and to say more and to be discovered and put yourself out there in the world. The second tip is find the topic, your topic. Uh, I mean, it's really hard. Somebody says, uh, find your niche or niche down. Uh, well, exactly what you have to do is creating 30, 40, 50 to 100 videos. And once you have that number, you will know exactly what kinds of videos you like really works for you and what kinds of videos don't work for you. There will be some sort of videos that will get you even thousands of views or even hundreds of thousands of views or maybe they go viral and there are videos that barely nobody watch. In the beginning, it's really hard. Nobody will watch any of your videos, but after a while, you'll see that some videos will get even 10 or 15 views more than others. So don't be discouraged. Find the topics that you find yourself more comfortable with and that you have more to talk about and that really works for you. Like in this business, the market talks and have the decision if you're good or not. So find what really works for you. The third thing is don't be entitled. This is a mistake that I've made for such a long time. Don't be that guy that think, oh my God, I don't want to create content about this topic because I prefer this topic or not even because I prefer this topic, but just because I prefer to be recognized as a guy that talk about this topic. You know what I mean? For example, when I started, uh, I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, fashion, beauty, etc. because I saw I watched all the time like Aaron Marino, Alex Costa, all these kinds of fashion YouTubers and I wanted to be like them. But you know, these kinds of topics, yeah, worked but not worked the best for me. So I started shifting a little bit. And you know, it's really, um, it's really different to talk about something and create content about something that really works for you instead of something that you would love that it worked for you. You know what I mean? The fourth thing, it's not necessary that you have a YouTube channel. Treat YouTube as an opportunity, as something to document your life, or as something like a challenge for yourself. If you want to say something, as I already told you, you can create a YouTube channel. But if you are forced, if you feel forced to create a YouTube channel because, I don't know, you feel it's right, because a lot of people do it, they 
people gain money is not for you. It's for somebody that wants to challenge himself, that wants to be creative and, and that it's something to do. I didn't know this when I started, I just wanted to start, uh, but now I know it and let me tell you, if you are creative and if you have something to say, it will be so much easier to create content. And a fifth and last thing that I want to say as a tip, you know, I have some millions of other tips but i made the videos for how to how i reached my first 100 and how i reached my first 1000 subscribers and basically i discovered the basics uh in those videos i think that right now I have to tell more about the details and the mindset so this fifth thing is creating a schedule what do i mean by creating a schedule i mean cr like i prefer quantity over quality at least in the beginning, once you are starting a YouTube channel, once you are before the 100,000s, the more you put yourself out there, the better it is, as I told you. You have to take YouTube and all the social media as an opportunity to say something, to go out of the crowd and be yourself, say something original, say something relatable, uh, say something that people want to share, uh, say something funny or teach something to other people if you're good at something or if you feel good about something you have to share it you have the responsibility to share it with the world people wants to know it from you so in the beginning the more you put yourself out there the better it is you can also sacrifice a little bit of the quality in the beginning uh, because it's better to create on scale then once you are better once you have your schedule and your system to post at least, I don't know, two, three, four times per week, then you can also increase your quality a little bit more, uh, upgrading your gears, maybe having a better quality camera or having lightings or I don't know. But in the beginning, the more you put, you put yourself out there, the better it is. Uh, it's not necessarily uh, things of quality or creating like a movie by editing every time that you want to post a video. Sometimes it's just th the content is the thing that people want to know. There are videos that are really bad looking and bad edited that have more, a lot more views than videos that are maybe like created like a movie, but nobody is interested or in what the content is, because it's not original, it's not relatable, it's not something that I want to share, it's not even funny, or it's not something that I want to learn. So this is the best thing that I think that it will make you grow a lot more. So this is it, guys. Be persistent, uh, don't look at your stats every time that you post a video, reply to comments at least once per month, uh, engage with your audience, try to share your videos everywhere in every social media that you, that you have. And that's it guys, this is YouTube. Uh, it's an opportunity to be here. Thank you so much for the 10,000 subscribers. And leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you think that I missed? And let me know uh, what kinds of content you want me to create uh, more. So leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.